Hi, my name is Georgia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be making the Lara loungewear set by Swim Styles Sewing Patterns. I will link all their info below. It's, um, yeah, it's just a cute little loungewear set. I've just printed it off and I'm going to put it all together and I'm going to take you along with me of following the instructions and sewing it. So this is the fabric I'm using. I actually got it off my Nen and I did try to sell it recently on my Instagram because I wasn't too sure if I liked it or not. But it um it went on salt, so I was like, oh I've got to try and use it in some way. And I thought this pattern would be good because it's slightly stretchy, it's light, it's a good like loungewear pattern, so I thought I'd use it for that. It's really soft and hopefully it'll look really cute in this set. I'm probably not going to go through all the instructions and everything just because you can find the instructions on their YouTube channel and also when you buy the pattern you can get all the instructions and everything. Alright, so I've got my trusty machine set up here. I'm going to start sewing. I think I forgot to mention that I cut out a size small of both the top and shorts. So if you wanted to know that, that's what size I'm making. Um, I'm going to start with the top because that's where the instructions start. I'm just going to go through it. It seems pretty simple, very beginner friendly. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh, excuse me. Next on with the sleeves. Okay, so I've got a semi amount of a shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna try it on. It's coming together. Super easy too. Like all I have to do is sew down the sides there. I'm liking it so far. Woo! <laughs> So we're already on to the last step of the shirt, which is the neckband. So I think it's been like maybe 15 minutes, like not even that really. So it's like super easy. And you don't have to make this with a um, overlock, by the way. You can make it with just like a normal zigzag stitch. But I just chose to use my overlocker because it's here and I'm going to use it. But yeah. So last step is to attach the neckband to the top and then we'll move on to the shorts to go with it. I think my fabric is not stretchy enough to make the neckband, so I'm gonna have to make it longer. BRB. A few moments later. All right, I played around with it. I think I've got it to fit, so I'm gonna give it a go and hopefully it works. Yeah. I struggled there for a bit because I had to kind of stretch my neckband to 
fit the neck opening, but we got there in the end. Looks pretty good. You can kind of tell it's been stretched, but that doesn't bother me that much. Oh my god, can you hear my neighbor's car? Okay, I think I just have to do the hem and sleeve hem, but I don't think I'm going to finish those off actually because I like them left raw really because my fabric won't fray. Yeah, it says to take it up two centimeters. I'll try it on and see how I like the length and everything. Give it a chop if I want it to be shorter and whatnot. But that's pretty much the top done. How cute is it? It will look cute with the shorts. daylight so I might um stop here but it's going well I just sewed the crotch seam with the shorts all I have to do is sew the waistband and hem the bottom but I think I might do that tomorrow but <laughs> they look so funny but they will look better with the waistband they'll be more cinched in and cute so I'll come back tomorrow and finish off the waistband around the shorts and the leg openings of the shorts. Go finish those up. So not much. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Just ignore the fact that my machine is missing a um, cover for like this part of the machine. The light bulb like stopped working like a year ago and I took the light bulb out to take to the shop and I just haven't been to the shop to purchase a new one so it's just been like this for a year <laughs> I know it's like bad but don't judge me okay so I brought this machine out so I can do some stitching around the neckline of the top and also to stitch the waistband of the shorts like the casing for it yeah i'm just gonna use my straight stitch on this machine this is my my first machine i ever got my little baby but um yeah i'm gonna do that now on to sewing the elastic casing for the shorts <laughs> So I started sewing my elastic waistband together, but you don't want to do this because you won't be able to get it into the pants. And I realized in three, two, one. I just realized I sewed it before I had it in the... Oh, bruh. Okay, be a bit gonna unpick this. I can't believe how stupid that is. One eternity later. I put my elastic in my pants before I stitch it up. try them on I'll be right back all right I'm back from trying on the shorts I also tried on the top as well I'm gonna keep the top exactly as it is so I'm not gonna finish the hems of the sleeve or the hem of the actual shirt with the shorts I'm gonna stitch down the side seams of the elastic just at the like top there because the elastic just moves around so much and I don't want to keep flipping it around every time I put it on but other than that oh I'm gonna finish off the hems of the short I'm gonna fold them up a little bit and make them kind of like a little cuff yeah let's go So I just pinned the cuffs of my shorts around here I first folded it in two centimeters there to there and then I folded it again, I think it was like three centimeters or three and a half centimeters. And at the crotch here, it's slightly smaller just because I didn't want to have a big bulky like crotch. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I did.
so that's my Lara loungewear set. I'm super happy with it. It's so comfy and just cute in general. Um, a big thank you to Justine and Sharon who sent it to me. I will link um, them below if you want to go check them out to get the pattern and everything. Yeah, um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll have more photos on my Instagram so you can check it out there. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.